Hey everybody, it's um, me and Binks, I guess, today, again. <laughs> Hi, can I do this video and then play with you? Thanks for sneezing on me, that was awesome. Thanks. Binksy. Anyway... How come every time I sit down to do a video, yeah, he bit me. Stop. No more. No more. Anyway, <laughs> now that he's wasted a minute of my time, um, I saw, I don't, there's, there's been so much just shit that's gone on all weekend, okay, and I'm not a drama channel, so I don't focus on those at all, try to, try to just stay in my lane, do my own thing, and, um, call it a day, call it good, now I got cat hair in my nose, darn it, but, um, there was actually, like, a couple things. There's there's a few things that I really, really wanted to talk to you guys about. And he just opened my door. Unbelievable. So it's probably going to get really noisy in here. Anyway. Huh, this is going to be a fun video. Anyway. Um, and I'm going to start out with. With a story. Bear with me. There's a reason for it. Um, as everybody knows, my mom came to town. And, um... She has a habit of... Unless you make, like, her dinner plate or her lunch plate or whatever, she just won't eat. Just... Uh, She's supposed to wear hearing aids, but doesn't put them in. But then sometimes when you're trying to say something quietly, she'll hear you. So it's kind of bizarre. But um, the biggest thing that I noticed was uh, this last trip out here. Because she comes out every winter. But the last, the last thing that I noticed was she was manipulating people into doing things for her. And she would say, oh, I don't know how to do that. Can you do that for me? And it was like, well, I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you how. And you end up, you know, doing it for her. Or she would say, um, well, I don't know where that is. Can you get that for me? Yeah. You know, cause, because it's human nature, you know, to help other people, you know. And then pretty soon, it was, she would be sitting on the couch and she would say, like, Oh, honey, can you get me blah, blah, blah. And I did it. And then it was like, wait a minute. It's no easier for me to limp across the room than it is for her. So why am I doing this? You know? And I, I kept thinking, like, how do I keep getting conned into this? How do, I, how do I keep having to do things for her? You know? And there's, there's a part of me that ended up, like, resenting it. I, I thought... You know, you're just as able-bodied, if not more so, than I am at this point, you know? And, uh, I was being manipulated. And I didn't really even see it coming, I guess. I wasn't, wasn't really paying attention. And then, uh, the last straw 
was when we had gotten into quite a quite a big argument, which it happens, you know. But uh, well, I guess I should say, you know, like my mom didn't raise me; my dad did, and so um, my mom and I are like more on the line of, of friends because I have no qualms about I guess speaking to my mom the way that most people wouldn't speak to their mother I, I talk to her like she's one of my friends you know like that's how that's how our relationship is and uh, she got pretty nasty this time like I I had even called my sister and said you know she's slipping mentally she's slipping she's she viciously attacked me verbally um with things that were like so far out of left field that I I couldn't even believe that they were coming out of her mouth and uh she then claimed to have you know no memory of of doing that and after one of the biggest biggest arguments we got into when she was here she said something about going home the next day and I was like screw it what's wrong with tonight back your shit and she said well maybe I'll see you around sometime like at my funeral and that was when it was like light bulb that's manipulation that is absolute emotional manipulation because had she left here the next morning and something happened on the road that would be a guilt that stayed with me for the rest of my life and to play that card on someone it absolutely I have a horrible temper horrible temper and it absolutely sent me through the roof it really did and I was screaming at her that she was not going to get away with manipulating me like that Um, that I knew what she was doing And it disgusted me how easy it was for her to take absolutely no responsibility for anything, no blame, no I'm sorry, no nothing, and just bow down. Me, not her. (laughs) And I was livid, of course. But the thing is, is it it got me to thinking that a lot of times I see or hear uh, people with chronic illness, and I'm sure I've done it. I am absolutely sure I've done it. Um, You know, manipulate somebody into doing something for you, and it's not a conscious thing. It's a, you know while you're up, can you do this, you know, or while you're over there, can you do this? But I, I've tried very, very hard not to say, oh, can you do this for me? I can't. Because I know, I know when I wake up first thing in the morning, I'm, I'm, it's everything I have in me to make it to the coffee pot. And so I know for about an hour after I wake up, I'm not going to be able to go out and lift a heavy bag of cat food or even a gallon of milk. Um, There are some days that even lifting my coffee cup puts enough pressure on that side of my body where, like, my hip, um, that it feels like I, I I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can walk that far with this in my hand. And I know it sounds crazy. It, it absolutely does. But I also know that after an hour or so of, you know, taking my aspirin, getting my coffee, and standing and just kind of stretching, stretching it out a little bit, 
it'll be better. And that'll give me more of a uh, feel for what the rest of the day is going to be like. But there are some days that I just, I, I have to cancel something, you know. But my biggest point is make sure that you're not uh, unintentionally or intentionally uh, manipulating anyone in your surroundings because people start to resent it. You know, be aware, be mindful of when your easier times to do things are and when things are more difficult for you. Like that first hour when I wake up, um, I know that that, hold on one second. I know. Hey, get out. I know that that first hour that I'm awake, it, it's going to be impossible to do anything. So, like I said, after that, I know a little more. Um, and then I know whether, am I going to be able to vacuum? Am I going to be able to mop? Am I going to be able to, you know, do this, do that? Um, so I know more after, after that point. And if I can't do it, if it's a bad day, then it's a bad day. And I just won't get it done. There are things that I can put off. There are things that have to be done. Like, you know, you have to feed your animals got to do that so if that's all I have in me for the day then that's all I have in me for the day and you know what the dusting the mopping the dishes whatever else it is if I can't physically do it it can wait it can wait a spotless house isn't on a list of priorities when you have a chronic illness um, sometimes you have the energy in you to, you know, play with your little one. And that's it. That's all you got. And that's fine. Do what you can. Don't manipulate others into doing it for you. Just know where your line is. Draw that line. And be good with it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Listen to your body. Um... The argument with mom, we got past it. Uh, we got past it. And yes, she did leave, just not the next day. And I have my house back. Things are much more peaceful here now. And um, it's much better for everyone all around. A month, a month and a half is... You know, it's it's too long to stay at anyone's house, but especially when you have somebody like me who I, I think that the more I hurt, the more grumpy and snappy I can be, and no matter how hard I try not to be, you know, sometimes little sarcastic things slip out or, you know, I get frustrated and because I can't do something and then it, I get I get furious with myself and I try really really hard not to lash out at anybody else but I think it happens you know it happens we all try our best and that's all we can do at the end of the day so I'm not a perfect person I'm just not I'm just me so Anyway, um, I love you guys. Don't don't push yourselves too hard. Don't beat yourself up on the days you can't do everything. Those days happen. And it's okay. It's okay to do nothing every once in a while. It's okay to have, you know, a layer of dust on the TV. It's okay. And maybe tomorrow you'll feel like it. Maybe not. Maybe the next day you will. But either way, it's all right. You'll live. I promise. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon.